Hey guys, so today's kind of an impromptu video. Um, I started doing a couple reviews last night on filament and another product for the print bed, and everything just went to pot on my printer. Um, as you can see right now, it's got the everything right on the screen. I'm going to see if I can get to do it again, but uh, it was giving me a lot of problems last night. Uh, we just have a bunch of just garbled up letters and numbers all over the screen um, and I figure it's it's got to be one of three things either I've got a corrupted firmware on the board I've got a corrupted SD card that the files are messed up on it or something or my uh, printer boards going bad I don't know which of the three it is so I'm going to try doing a little bit of troubleshooting try to figure it out um, I reached out to GTAC. Uh, I haven't heard back from which this is Sunday midday, so I know good and well that in China it won't be until later on tonight before it'll be their their uh, first day of the week. So <laughs> it's no no big deal that way. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take everything off the print bed here, and then I'm going to preheat. Wow, that product actually works out really good. I'll uh, get into the review of that after I get my printer fixed. That's a whole lot easier than dealing with uh, with the glue. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this all cleaned off. I'll uh, get preheated, and then as soon as I get the screen to mess up, I'll uh, turn the camera back on and show you what's going on. Okay, so we just reached temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and go to print from SD. Oh, back one. There we go. And I'm going to go to my Maker Coin. And this is where I was yesterday, and it was messing up. I'm going to go ahead and tune it. I'm going to set the nozzle to 198, because that was the perfect temperature for this filament. And yesterday it just had a huge problem doing this. Let's see if it does it again. And so far the screen stayed on. Yesterday the screen just started messing up like crazy at the very, right at the very beginning. I had to power it off, power it back on a few times, which I've never had that kind of a problem with this printer. I've been fairly lucky with it. He says starting out it's supposed to be doing all right it looks like but we'll see okay so if it messes up which actually it already started to on the screen let me show you here what I'm talking about uh, printing E <laughs> that's not supposed to be there so there's already starting to be some kind of an error going on but uh, anyway, as soon as it messes up, I'll uh, come right back to it. Okay, so I'm now at two hours and four minutes. I've been sitting here watching this the whole time, and I've seen it do some weird moves where it just went completely off to the home position on uh, both the bed and on the was it the the X and the Y axis. I've seen it where both times it went to the home position and then went back and continued printing, and then here we are now and uh, it came up and says wait for user and it's waiting for me to poke this button I don't have that set up in the G code for to do that so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, kill this print because I know what's going to happen now it's going to print for about three minutes and then it's going to do the same thing all over again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill this print I think I'm going to go ahead and try to update this, the firmware and go ahead and uh, format and uh, reload the the G code 
for the print because it's one of two things either it's, I think it's going to either be the card messing up or it's going to be the the firmware but something's not quite right I might as well just go ahead and do both of them at the same time and, and see if that helps it so I'll, I'll go ahead and kill this right now I'll uh, be, right back, be right back with you okay so I did is I raised my z-axis up because my port for the printer is over here I never use the printer port this this pretty much proves that I've never even taken the cable out of the package <laughs> This is the first time I've ever tried connecting the computer to this printer to find out anything about it. I've never tried doing a software update or nothing before. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Now what I've done is I've went into Easy Print version 1.0.15 beta. This is uh, GTEx proprietary software that they're trying to develop. Uh, from what I understand I can do a um, firmware update from it. And it's supposed to be a lot easier than going through Arduino and and doing all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into the printer. Okay, screen just uh, reset up here. Let's see. This is the first time I've tried using this software, so I honestly don't know what to think about it. Okay, so... I do not see my printer on here. So I don't think it's going to let me do what I need to do. Okay, so I've given up on trying to find the firmware on the GTEC website, so I had to do a Google search for it. Let's see if that brings it up. Firmware for GTEC 3D printers. Here we go. It would have been nice if it was just a link on the website. Post B, post C... Me Creator, Me Creator 2. I think I passed it already. Okay, Aluminum I3. And this is the one with the printed brackets, which this is not. Full Aluminum I3. Use firmware here. I'm not using a lead screw. Uh, using ramps, I'm using this one right here. So click on that. Got that downloaded. Now I need to know how to install it. Okay, so we're going to be doing it with that one. Okay, so I'm not going to be using the GT2560, which I wish I was. So I need to view this topic here. <clears throat> okay. So it says to download Arduino, which I already did that, and I already installed it on the machine, or on the, the computer. Compared to the Arduino. Okay, so it says now I need to open the Arduino. So let me go ahead. I got it right here, so let's go ahead and open it up. I'll plug in the computer. Or the printer. Okay, so it's plugged in. Now, number two, three. Go to the firmware for this board, which I just downloaded it. Open the i3, whatever that name of that board is, files for Merlin firmware. Double click the xxx info file. 
If you can't find the info file, select all the files, 59 in total, drag them into Arduino. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and select all the files like it said to do. And I'm going to drag them all over here and drop them into that. Okay, so now let's go back over here. View the topic. Okay, so I drag them all into Arduino. Select the PNG. No, there you so I selected all those. I moved them over there. Select the correct board type under Tools. Let's see, board. Okay, so how do I know which board this is? Okay, board AT Mega 1284P 16 megahertz, it says. Okay, so let's try that. bottom one. So I'm going to select it. Okay. Choose a serial port. I guess it's COM3 because it looks like it's automatically picked it. Click on the arrow icon to upload the firmware to the main board. Wish me luck everybody. Software is just one thing I just never mess with if I can get out of it. <laughs> like I said, this is the first time I've ever messed with this, plugging a computer into this printer, so hopefully this works right. If not, I guess I'll be getting a new board. <laughs> I'm guessing by the screen having these little bars across it, I guess and that means it's receiving the information. Just a total guess on it. Okay, it says it's done uploading. The screen went back to normal up here. So I'm going to guess that it was successful. Let's look go back over here and see if there's anything else that I'm supposed to do. Says when it says done uploading, you have successfully uploaded the firmware to your main board, and that appears to be it. So let's go ahead and get out of that. Go ahead and save that. Okay, so I'll get out of that. Next thing I'll do is I'll uh, I'm just going to reload the software on the you know, format the memory card. Actually, you know what? No. I'm just going to leave the memory card alone. I'm going to go ahead and start the print again, and let's see if it completes. So if it completes, 
then we know it was the firmware. If it doesn't complete, then I will go ahead and reset the, format the memory card, try that again. If that works, then we'll know it was a corrupted file on the memory card. The thing is, it messed up at a whole different point in this print than it did in the previous print. So I don't think it's the memory, memory card. So let's go ahead and just try it like this and see what happens. By the way, that was my dad, and that was their my mom and dad's little dog, Annie. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be right back with you. Yes. It's now the next morning and we've had success. So apparently that was the issue. So let's kind of recap what happened here. So whenever I do a print, it would mess up. Uh, I showed that earlier in the video. Um, what I didn't show on camera is I did go through the circuit board, make sure that all the wires, the connection, connections were all tight. Everything was set up that way. I also checked to make sure that there was nothing grounding out on the board. All that was checked before I even went as far as to to mess with the firmware. We updated the firmware and that appeared to fix the issue. Um, so right now I'm going to call this one good and everything's good with it so I can get on with my other videos. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and take care. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too, that way you'll get notified when the video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.